Hey everybody, Kyle here with SoftwareMedia.com. Thanks for joining us once again. Today I'm going to take you through some basic color correction in Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. Now Premiere is probably my favorite video editing software available today. It is way easier to use than Avid and much more powerful than Final Cut Pro. Especially Final Cut Pro 10, which is a joke. Don't even get me started. So you can see here, sometimes when you're shooting, you may have an image that you're not exactly happy with. Maybe you forgot to white balance. Maybe it was underexposed. For whatever reason, you need to fix it in post. So you're going to want to color correct it. What we want to start with is make sure that we have our clip on our timeline. We're going to go up here to our workspace and click on that. Right now it's on editing. I want it on color correction. You can see it opens up all these new panels. Right here I've got my source monitor which is my raw unedited video. Here I've got my program monitor and that is showing me my video that is on my current timeline including any effects that I put onto it. And then down here I've got my reference monitor. This is where I'm going to see my waveform. This includes any kind of chroma and luma information. Luma is basically the light and the brightness. Chroma is color intensity and color information. Right now, I only want to focus on Luma. I'm just going to work on fixing the brightness, contrast, and the shadows. If you don't see this waveform, then uh, if you just see a video, make sure you click down here on the output and click YC waveform. Make sure that chroma is deselected. So let's start uh, fixing our footage. Let's go up here to effects, video effects, color correction. Come down here to fast color corrector drag that over to your clip. And we're going to click over to the effect controls and we're going to expand this up. Scroll down past all this color information. We'll go over that in a minute. Right now, I just want to brighten this up. As you can see, I make this a little bigger. As you can see, this is kind of dark. I don't have a lot of uh, shadow detail and it's you know, it's kind of uh, kind of flat. It doesn't really pop. I want a little more contrast in it. I want to brighten it up a little. So what I want to do is I want to grab... I'm going to come over here to my input levels. And this is where I can adjust the luma, which is the lightness, of my lows, my mids, and my highs. So I'm going to click on this little white triangle, and I'm going to bring this down brighten the image a bit. And you can see that I'm peaking here. Now this means that I'm not getting any new information, so I want to make sure that my whites are at or around 100 IREs. That is pretty much where white should be for video. This would be a lot easier if I had more than one monitor. So you can see where it's flat right here. That's above where I want it to be. I'm not going to be getting any new information by affecting the highs. So I'm going to have to go to my mids. I want to bring these up. I'm going to bring the whole dynamic range up a bit and brighten the whole video. This is going to affect my grays and my midpoints, remember. So you can see I've got some more information, but I'm getting a little bit of, a, a little bit of grain, a little bit of noise in the blacks. So what I want to do is I want to grab this and I want to crunch my blacks. So, now that I've got my Luma where I want it, I'm going to adjust the color. So, let's come up here to our white balance. You can see how it's kind of yellowish, kind of orange. It almost looks sepia tone. That's because I forgot to white balance when I was shooting. So, it's picking all the light up as orange because it's dusk. So, I'm going to click on this little eyedropper here next to white balance, and I'm going to find the spot on my video that is close to white as I can get. This little Y on this guy's shirt here is pretty pretty close to white, so I'm going to click on that. And you can see it already balanced it. It took, that ex it took the excessive orange out of it, and now it's really, really green and kind of blue. I think it's a little too blue, so I'm going to come down here to my color wheel, which shows you what kind of color is being substituted. 
And I'm just going to bring my balance gain down a little bit. It's a little too much. And I'm going to find a place where I'm comfortable with it. And you know, it looks kind of flat. I want to add a little bit of contrast. So I'm going to come up down here to the saturation and I'm going to boost the color a little. I want it to be a little more intense. So I brought it up to 150 saturation. Now it's a little too much. You just want to, you know, make sure you you play around and you find what looks good to you. Um, especially if you're doing it for for the web, for YouTube, you don't have to worry about broadcast standards. So really like eyeball it, play around with it and find what looks good to you. The difference between most amateur video and well done video is color correction. Having high contrast and really good color saturation and good color balance. Then now that we've color corrected, let's uh we can come up here to our we can have a split screen that'll show us what it did look like. It'll show us what the video looked like originally and what it looks like now. So you can get a good idea of what kind of changes you need to make. And that's color correction in a nutshell in Premiere Pro. Um, you know, check it out on softwaremedia.com. We've got it on sale. My name's Kyle. This is softwaremedia.com. We'll see you next time.